What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm taking a little break from uh, Madden because I want to show you guys a little bit of Red Dead Red Dead gameplay. I know this game is old, but it's still a really popular game, and it and it's an awesome game anyway. I don't care how old it is. So, and plus, a lot of people still play it, and there's a lot of new people that are playing it. So, what I'm trying to do is show you how to beat Pike, uh, Pike's base and really fast. Um, Pike's Basin is the best place to go to level up because you get the most XP. Um, you know, it, it gets boring after a while if you got to keep doing it, but if you're trying to level up, I mean, this really is the way to do it if you want to do it fast. So, and plus, you know, it also depends on what kind of weapons you have, too. Uh, first thing you should try and do is try and find a, a decent gun, you know, uh, either through another gang hideout or, you know, by killing someone else you know, in free roam or whatever. Um, what I did, I had the Legends and Killers pack, so I, uh, I beat, um, Worthington Ranch before I, uh, before I came here. So I, I, I got a bolt action and a Henry and all that. I like using the bolt action the best, but it doesn't have as many shots. What you can do is come down into here and you can pick up the Evans repeater. Uh, once you get through the first wave of people, and then you'll be set as far as firepower goes. So what you want to do is you want to set the first bomb. Call your horse before you do it. Call your horse before you set the bomb, so that way by the time you're finished planting it, uh, your horse will be there. All right, you can see there he is. And you want to get out of here as quick as possible because you'll blow up otherwise. Run towards your horse, hop on, and go right up this side here. Be careful when you're coming around this turn, though, because you could fall off the edge, and that's gonna suck. Cause you're gonna have to start all the way from the back of the, uh, all the way to the beginning of the uh, of the round. So there's about seven guys here. I'm gonna kill these guys real quick. If you have dead eye, use it. It'll it'll you know eliminate these guys really fast. I'm trying to get headshots, but sometimes it's real easy, sometimes it's not. You can see I am shooting them in the head, but they're not dying. So there you go. It took all, all those guys. Make sure you ammo up. Get it before you set the bomb. Because by the time you're done setting the bomb, it'll reset. And you can pick up more in case you need it, in case you're running low. I'm not running low, but I always like to keep my ammo full regardless. <clears throat> so now you run back here. Your ammo box is reset so you can get more. Now you got two guys, sometimes three, that come from up here. You take them out as quickly as possible. Sometimes they drag their ass getting over here, which sucks because it kind of fucks up your timetable a little bit. Now, I don't like calling my horse at this point because he gets in the way. Remember, ammo up again before you go. So you got full ammo. Now, around the bend here, there's going to be another six guys that comes. There's two ways you can do this. You can wait for them to round the corner, or... You can just go out, go and attack them. I like to wait because I like to do this, and I did eye the piss out of all of them. And that's it; they're all dead. Now you call your horse, and in the meantime, you just run your ass off as far as you can. I know he's not fast, but you run as far as you can until your horse catches up to you, which here he comes now. Get on his ass and just go. So you go all the way across to the third bomb. If you're not sure or familiar with Pike's Base, you can always set, you know, set your waypoints. But I, I played this enough times where I can do it in my sleep. So again, if you have Dead Eye, use it because there's going to be about six or seven guys here that you want to take out, and they're not dying, which is a pain in the ass sometimes because you're shooting the piss out of them, and they're not dying. This guy's dead. I got uh, three more guys. This one's dead. One more bomb. And then about, I, I'd say there's probably about uh, nine more guys you got to kill. So you plant your bomb. And then there's going to be three guys on the top ridge to your left. You take them out first. And then there's going to be six guys coming at you around the bend to the right. Um, there's two ways you can do that too. You can, like I said, you can attack them straight out. 
Uh, not good chances of doing that because they outnumber you big time. Unless you're really good, you can take them out really quick. You don't want to do that. So what I like to do, if you have dynamite, you hide behind this rock right here. And you arm your dynamite, you wait, because they all come out and they stand in a group. And you can usually blow them all up with one stick. Right here. And that's it. I took me a little bit longer than I wanted to. Usually I can do this in under five minutes, but some of them took a lot more shots than I wanted to. But you can see, I didn't die once, and I gained uh, almost 2,000 XP. And that's really, like I said, that's the most out of any fort. I think the next highest is, um, uh, let's see what the next highest is. 3,000 points. Let me see here. I just leveled up too, which is cool. The next highest is, um, Fort Mercer. I believe Fort Mercer is the next highest. All right, so... You can, you know, when you get bored, you can start moving around to other forts. But like I said, this is really the best one to use um, for, for your XP. So, hope you guys liked it. Uh, I know it's an old game, like I said, but it's still a lot of fun. And um, a lot of new people are playing it. So, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with more Madden and uh, more online gameplay. All right? Talk to you guys.